Okay, this is my like third or fourth attempt at making this video. Originally, I was going to have me facing the camera, but it would be kind of boring. So I decided to like show you pictures and video footage of a certain game and stuff. But anyway, this is my tag response to Mr. Scott Lewis Gaming Block. And although it's pretty late for it, hey, better late than never, right? Anyway, the game tag is about video game hype and games we're most excited or hyped about. He asks us two questions for this tag. The first question he asks is, your most hyped video game and why? Originally, I was gonna say Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but I don't know. It's kind of too obvious or bland. So I decided to go back to my past and remember what games I were hyped for that were released. And in conclusion, I gotta say my most hyped game would have to be Kingdom Hearts 1. Why wasn't my most hyped and excited anticipated game? Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that part. Uh, it's because of the unique concept. We all know what it's about. Disney mixed with Final Fantasy characters. Who would've thought those two would've actually worked? So yeah, like again, I said, reason why it was my most hyped, unique concept of Final Fantasy and Disney combined. The second question he asks, did it live up to expectations? Why or why not? Now, before I give my answer, let me just say that I love the game. I'm a fan of the series. I freaking love the gameplay, the soundtrack, the characters, the story. And of course, I'm freaking pissed off at how much we have all these little spin-offs and prequels and stuff. And they should just go straight right down to Kingdom Hearts 3. But anyway, did it live up to expectations? Unfortunately for me, not really. The reason why for that being is because, of course, most of us gamers only got the game because of the Final Fantasy part. If you actually got the game for a Disney part, I'm not like bragging on you or anything, but most of us got for our Final Fantasy characters. And I actually thought you got to choose which Final Fantasy characters you could put in your party. Unfortunately, yeah, about that choosing characters, that's what I thought was going to be like shown in that game pro when I first heard about it. Yeah, like I said, I first heard about it in a game pro and I was excited. But the reason why it didn't live up to expectations is because you couldn't choose the Final Fantasy characters. And throughout the whole game, you only had Disney characters in your party from Disney's version of Tarzan to Peter Pan to Ariel and Jack Skellington. Not that it was bad or anything, but it would have been nice to see a Final Fantasy character in the party. Problem is, which I freaking hate about the game, is how the Final Fantasy characters were in that game. They were basically either shopkeepers like the Moogles and Sid, or they were just like training sparring partners in the Olympus Coliseum like Cloud, Yuffie, Leon. I freaking hate that. And because of that, it didn't really live up to my expectation of being a Final Fantasy and Disney crossover game. It was more like a Disney game with a few Final Fantasy cameos. But fortunately, they actually put Orin as a playable character in Kingdom Hearts 2 which I really enjoy. Although it was fucked up what they did to him. I mean you only got a few like minutes with playing as him or playing him in the party. That's just weak compared to our characters. So yeah, overall they live up to expectations. Again, no because of how the Final Fantasy characters were treated in the game. So yeah, it's already been five minutes. I'm gonna end it off here. Thanks for a tag Mr. Scott Lewis Gaming Blog and for all you who seem to watch it, thanks for watching.